Hey, so if you think one of these is uh, gonna be good for your training, check out this video and see what research really has to say about using this. Hey everybody, what's happening? I'm Coach Brian, strength coach here with criticalbench.com and I've spent the last 15 plus years of my life studying exercise and human performance. And this thing right here, the Elevation Training Mask, this is not something new. This has been around for a long time. In fact, when I was studying uh, in grad school, we actually talked about Elevation Training Mask and training under hypoxia conditions and training at high altitude. Um, and the crazy thing is, this has been around for a very long time. Maybe not this one exactly, but high altitude training has been around. Uh, restrictive breathing techniques have been around for a very long time. People are used to breathe through a straw with a, uh, a, a clothespin on their nose and that would kind of have the same effect as this. So what's all the craze about this thing? Well, first of all, it looks cool. It's, it's a gimmick. It looks cool. I mean, that, that's it. It's comfortable. It makes you uh, just, it just makes you look cool. I mean, it, it's, it's pretty much all this thing is good for. However, a lot of people actually use this quite often because they think, think, it's a marketer's specialty is to get people think one thing when truth tells them otherwise. Anyways, it's a different uh, topic altogether. But a lot of people think that this is helpful to their performance. And unfortunate, they're wrong. Research proves that this is an ineffective high altitude training mask. If you look at this company, Elevation Training Mask, their box says El Elevation Training Mask. It doesn't say high altitude training, but the second you start flipping through the manual, you can adjust these little things and it, uh, it's supposed to replicate certain types of altitude. So why can't this give you the same effect as high altitude training? Well, there's this thing called oxygen. The higher up you are at elevation, like it's usually 1500 meters and above, is when the oxygen content of the atmosphere is less. So you're breathing in less oxygen. And if you know anything about the human body, we need oxygen to live. When you're at sea, sea level or anything below 1500 meters, there's oxygen in the atmosphere, so you're not gonna get the same metabolic response uh, as you would at high altitude. This does not change the oxygen content of the atmosphere. This just changes how much air you're actually taking in, into your lungs. It's restricting your breathing. So this is a great way to train your respiratory system, but it has nothing to do with actually improving aerobic capacity uh, or VO2 max or anything like that. So let's take a look at these three research articles that prove pretty much that this is an ineffective training tool. All right, so the first one is out of the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, uh, pretty recent actually, out of uh, 2018. So this study looked at the acute effects of the elevation training mask on strength performance in recreational weightlifters. They concluded that wearing the mask during bouts of resistance training did not hinder the ability to achieve desired training volumes during the resistance training session. However, wearing the mask does seem to attenuate the ability to maintain working velocity during training bouts and negatively influence ratings of alertness and focus for task. So it doesn't help performance. It doesn't necessarily hinder, but it also takes the mind away from the task at hand. Pass on this. All right, so the next one is out of uh, 2016, comes from the Journal of Sports Science and Medicine. And they uh, looked at the effect of wearing the elevation training mask and its effects on aerobic conditioning, lung function, and hematological variables. And they concluded that wearing the mask while participating in a six week high intensity cycle ergometer training program does not appear to act as a simulator of altitude, but more like a respiratory training device. Wearing the mask may improve specific markers of endurance performance beyond the improvements seen with interval training alone. Inconclusive research, it shows that it doesn't, it really isn't any more effective than what you would do without the mask. Research is further needed, obviously. All right, so the last one I wanna look at, it comes out of the International Journal of Exercise Science. This is back from 2018 as well. And the article title is Chronic Effects of the Elevation Training Mask on Aerobic Capacity, Anaerobic Endurance, and Pulmonary Function. And they concluded that training with the mask does not enhance and may inhibit improvements in aerobic and anaerobic endurance compared to standard training. Further study is needed, blah, 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 okay. So there you have it. Okay, so three quick research studies that are very recent. Again, this topic has been researched for a very long time. But these research studies are published and they conclude that it's not an effective 
way to increase aerobic, anaerobic, and pulmonary function for the research is needed. So your best bet is to ditch this. If you wanna dabble with it, that's fine. You know, try it out. But if you're training for something, like if you've got a specific uh, running race or an expedition or a weightlifting match that you're looking to compete in, or if you just wanna get the most out of your workouts, it might not be beneficial to actually use this. So beginners out there, ditch this. Don't even look at this. Professional athletes, professional exercisers, if that's even a, a term, you might want to look into this maybe just to get the diaphragm to get a little stronger. It's up to you. I say pass on it. If I have to, if somebody came to me and said, hey coach, or hey Brian, what, uh, what's your opinion on this? I'd say save your money. Don't waste your time. Just train hard. That's it. Okay. So, but if you are going to try with this, you need to break it in. You need to have a little break in period, a trial period, five, 10 minutes at a time. Don't go out and do some sprints. Don't go do some uh, max lifts or some spin classes or things like that with this on. It's gonna restrict your breathing, it's gonna challenge you, it's gonna probably tick you off a little bit because you're gonna get almost suffocated by wearing this. So you gotta build up a tolerance to this a few minutes at a time just to get familiar with this. So that's all I needed to share with you on the Elevation Training Mask. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Hey, if you've got some research that I need to look at or that you feel like sharing uh, to everybody else, feel free to post it below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And Questions, I, I may expect questions on this topic because it's somewhat controversial. So post it now below. Hey, while you're here, subscribe to our channel, check out other videos, like this video, and uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, have an awesome day, and we will see you soon.